You do not see me. Ignore the bright red and blue bird on my shoulder. Oh, screw it. Hello, friends, viewers, whatever. Uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Ark the Order. This is TVT here, and uh, today, uh, assuming the cave isn't broken, uh, I got something up my sleeve. See, uh, we finally, uh, we've killed, uh, as, as has been mentioned in the last couple episodes, on, in addition to taming, uh, oh, oh, what the hell was that? <clears throat> in addition to taming up, uh, some Gigantopithecus, which are at base currently breeding, um, we have also, uh, wiped out the Megapithecus on Beta and Alpha, and the Broodmother on Beta and Alpha. And it was at this point that I finally remembered, uh, oh, hey, by the way, um, tech exists. And I originally wasn't going to even bother with it, but, uh, you know, I figured might as well. Uh, but right now I'm waiting after a, after a resource run, I'm waiting for my metal to cook up fully. So in that, in the meantime, I figured let's check out another couple of creatures that have been affected by the Kraken's Better Dinos mod. And those creatures are Arthropleura and Aranio. Uh, Aranio being fancy scientific talk for, uh, spider, specifically Araniomorph. Uh, don't get me started on rant- on talking about spiders, I can literally go on for hours. <laughs> I- I mean, if you- if you couldn't tell from, you know, the- the black tarantula. Yeah, spiders are kind of my thing. In real life, I- I love them, they're great, they're- <clears throat> I understand why people find them to be creepy, but I think they are- some of the most unique and amazing animals that the world has has ever produced. So, with that in mind, let's dive right in. See if there's some here. We are in the cave with the Broodmother's Terminal. So, that's something to think about. But, also, I don't know what happens if you fall down there. Hmm. Not sure I want to find out either. But, yes, we are in full ghillie, as you can see. Um... And hopefully that will allow us to get close to some of these buggies, if there are any still here. I, uh, last time I was here, I cleared a lot of them out on the way over, so... Welcome, friends and viewers, to the Halls of Erebor. Here is where we should be able to find what we want to tame today. Um, by the way, if you, are, if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications, and, you know, leave a comment for more. Uh, all that good stuff. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, we got a lot of Onik here. Gonna have to deal with them first. You can tame the Onik as well, by the way, but um, not really interested in them. I already have the better bat. Why would I want the Why would I want the crappier bat? <laughs> I mean, maybe uh, actually, I think Kraken's better dinos change them too. So it might actually be worth seeing if we've got enough spoiled meat for the job. That is. Alright, so I've got a lot of bugs down there, and that can be a big problem. So, um, okay, strategy time. Because this is, uh, there, with those spiders there, if they all gang up on me, that might be a big problem. The strategy that I want to use is I want to deal with these scorpions first. Oh, come on, that was nonsense. You didn't hit me, get out of here. Stop lying to me, game. There we go. Uh, is that level 100, really? It's the best you got? I mean, alright, but... We got a level 90 there. Uh, okay, strategy time. We're gonna take out these scorpions first. Wondering where the hell the... Um, Oh, while we're here, we might want to check this place out. This place is... Ow, you fuck. That was very rude, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, there we go. That's the one I want to tame. Up there. So here's what we're going to do. Now, it's already aggroed at me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here. And then I'm gonna fly away. <clears throat> okay, 
Now, the strat here... Oh, is that her right there? Yes, it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this stuff. This is the bug repellent. Uh, also, not only does it repel bugs, it's also the favored food of the... Uh, of the... Um, what is it? Pachyrhinosaurus, for some reason. Reasons that will never be explained throughout the game. Okay, now the trick here is this is a passive tame, if I recall correctly, and assuming Kraken's Better Dinos did not change the taming method, you know. Okay, we've got to wait till it's hungry again, so. Wow, this is one of those where it might actually take a hot minute to get this done, and I also have to be careful because while the creature, while the bugs will not aggro directly on me, if they bump into me, they will get mad. Well, even though they ran into me. It's like, what? How dare I smack into you? I'ma kill you. And it's kind of hard because of the noises they make, so it's really tough to tell when they're mad. I just, I guess you just know when the, when the music kicks in. And these guys can be a real, okay, she's wandering off by herself. That's actually, oh, Jesus Christ. A, these are a little daunting, and if they they do, uh, they are supposed to look like little mini brood mothers. They really don't. Like brood mothers got spikes all over her and stuff like that. She's got a very different build to these. But I mean, I guess they're babies. Wait, does that mean theoretically that all of them should be baby baby organisms and thus, you know, grow into a brood mother? Because why the hell isn't that a thing? Or is it like Ungoliant and Shelob in Lord of the Rings, i.e. Erebor, which is what we're doing right here? Ooh. I am really nervous of that other spider. Like I said, they won't aggro right away, but if they, um, but if I hit them, or if, or if I if I bump into them, or they bump into me, they will they will trigger aggro. So gotta be careful. I also have to say crouch. There we go. I probably should put her on my taming tracker. Oh, I'm sorry, him. I thought this was a female. Oh, well. I mean, it's fine either way. <laughs> Wait up. Yeah, I got up for just a little bit there so I could... go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Man, this is a challenge in itself, you know? Gotta keep your... It's like, you gotta keep your eyes on the one you want, but you also have to, um... So now we know we can feed it again. Bam. What is it with creatures that passive tame this way? They always have that one feed where it's a really long time, and then afterwards it's like, oh, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Bam, gotcha. Put her away, or him away, sorry. Let's take a look at them stats. I mean, I'm not, this is an Uranio. It's not going to be, pfft, yeah. <laughs> Rips, okay, okay-ish stamina. Lots of uh, unfortunate points into movement speed, but that's fine. I did bring saddles. Where the hell did I put those? Uh, yes, they are here in tools. So we can take these things for a spin, but um, okay. Let's, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, check the other levels of these guys. Okay, level 90, don't care. And the reason why I grabbed her with my Desmodus and brought her over by herself was the hope that I could um, pull her away and keep her up there so that we could just tame her without worrying about the others, but that wouldn't have made for nearly as entertaining a sequence, would it? Okay, level 25, trash. No sign of Arthur Pleura yet, though. I don't think the Aranio here has any direct, um, like, link to a creature in li in real life. I mean, other than just a spider, an Araniomorph spider, but, um, okay, utility creatures. Where, where did I put Cammy? There she is. Yeah, let's d let's delve further in. There's also a rune right here. I think what I'm gonna do is oh oh I see wings. Yep, I do see wings. We got bats. Actually, let's see what level this bat is, just for kicks. Trash, but that means there's another. That mate boost means there's another one. So.
You garbage kid. Okay, this is a dangerous scenario to try to tame these in. Okay, I'm gonna kill a few of them, so we only have to deal with the one, if we, indeed there's a tameable one here. I mean, they're all technically tameable, but I mean a one that I would prefer to tame. Oh, you actually hit me! Nice! Good move. And harvest up all these corpses. I know I could be harvesting them up to get the chitin, but I don't really need the chitin, so... Not happening. Okay, I've got that. Alrighty. Get rid of this stuff. Okay, we got a couple different directions we can go here. I'll go this way. And the goal here is to try to find either another, like, another good Uranio or a, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, we got something there. Got one right there. Female 145, nice. This is not an ideal place to tame them, though. Okay, we're gonna kill this one. Oh! Oh! Okay, we need to make sure I grab the right one here. Okay, we gotta kill this one. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm webbed. Great. <laughs> okay, they're not mad at me anymore. We got two here. Okay, I gotta kill that other one that's there. What? How did you survive that? That is malarkey. Oh, come on. Pick up all their stuff again. Okay, we're gonna tame up one more of these, and then I'll probably go specifically looking for Arthros. This is not a good place to do this. Ooh. Ooh. Because I'm more worried about me, with my luck, I'll fall off the cliff. Aw, oh, come on. Come back up. Uh, probably let that run out. Let that run its course. Uh, I know I could use the Sanguine Elixir as well. I don't have one made right now, but I could have definitely used one to make this easier, but... Nope. Oh. oh. I thought she got mad at me for a second. I'm like, what are you angry at? We gotta wait. Oh, 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 oh. I kinda got. Wait. No, the Halloween event doesn't start until next week. What am I? What am I talking about? Oh. What? You are hungry again. You just pooped. Guess not. Yeah, you just do your little dance with these guys. Once you kind of got the, the rhythm of how they move down, it's not hard. I just gotta watch that timer real carefully so I can back away and then, uh... Here, let me put her on the taming counter. That one is definitely female. Confirmed. <laughs> oh! Okay, yep, yeah, she got mad at me. That's what I get. Here, I'm just gonna... Here, I got an idea. Okay, that strangely did not reset anything. Although it probably it probably will reset once I go over to feed her again. Wait, what? Why are you angry at me? Is it because I wasn't crouched? Okay, you know what? You know what? This, this right here. 
we're just gonna leave the room. You you need you need you need some time to yourself. You also Okay, that was my boots, not my pants. I was about to be really mad. Okay. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use the bug repellent again. I don't have the full benefit of the ghillie suit, so I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, yeah, she actually didn't. I don't have to restart it. That's really that. Okay. We take those. Yeah, that time she got mad at me because I bumped right into her. Like, I just ran into her. So it was she was like, ah! And got startled because she couldn't see me. Oh, wow. That actually does a bit of torpor to me. Oh, oh, oh. I don't... Yep. Okay, almost got her tamed up. But yeah, this is just, just rinse and repeat this if you're trying to tame these. It's not hard to do. It can be a little daunting, especially if you're in an area. Uh-oh, bats. Gotcha. Welcome to the team. Okay, already vast improvement on the other one. <laughs> All right. Only had to break my boots for that. I wonder if Arthur was spawn in here. Okay, where the hell? Okay, what else is down? Whoa! Okay. Okay. Actually, wait, hold up. I'm gonna break these crates real quick. I figured we might as well explore while we're down here. Okay, we get polymer, we get... And I'm assuming that respawns. Okay, I'll take that. Do I get anything for hitting this? No. Really wish you could use that to craft things, like the fucking dwarven anvil. Man, this place looks so cool. Yeah. Um, it's definitely modeled after Erebor, although obviously some parts um, have been... had to be, you know, designed from scratch since you didn't really have... A whole lot of the layout of Erebor known, apart from, like, any blueprints that may have been drawn of it. You know, like, they don't talk about all the rooms in the in the Hobbit, so. Okay. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, are there Arthros in here? I don't think there are Arthros in here, but there is metal. Oh, boy. Okay, we got scorpions, though. You know what? I know another place we can go to find Arthros for sure. Not a problem. I'm just gonna kill these bats. They are lesser specimens. But one, four, five, right there. And of course, it uh, is the, like, not pretty ones at all. Ah, sorry. What the hell was that? Was that like Chewbacca on helium? What was that noise? Yeah, hold on. We're just clearing out creatures at the moment. Hopefully we can uh, get that hot mess sorted. Okay. It'd be really bad if these guys jumped in on me while I'm trying to tame this Arthro, so. Best to just kill him now. Okay, especially because I can't have Cammy out while we're doing that. Uh, that would equal Arthro gets mad at her, comes after, and, and just causes it, just turns into an absolute mess. Activate bug repellent. Okay, I think we've got the area largely cleared out, at least as much as I'm going to bother with it. 
And these guys are a little bit different to tame up because you gotta, gotta just like, so they're always turning like this. Gotta get that hit, gotta get that box right on them. You know, the thing that I'm not doing. <laughs> hey. Okay. I made Broth of Enlightenment. I know that's their uh, preferred food. Oh. Wow, we didn't even need the Sanguine Elixir. <laughs> Thought I would. Alrighty, we got we got our first Arthropleura. Yeah, see, it's like they're they're real. Oh come on, <laughs> even worse than the first sna uh, snake, even worse than the first spider. Wow, that's saying something. All right, let's see what else we got. See, hopefully we got some better ones here. Normally this place is crawling with them. Interestingly enough, let's see if there's any wyverns down here. I'm not gonna take any eggs, but. I've been curious about, ever since the Giga, I've been curious about spawns. And I gotta tell you, when I came back, every time I've come back here since looking for Magmasaur eggs, I haven't seen any of these, any wyverns at all. So, no eggs, no wyverns, no nothing. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't think it's necessarily something wrong with the spawns. I think it's a similar issue to the Giga, where on single player... Um, anything that would block the spawns of these, um, like, even if it's like just in the same area is gonna make it so that they don't come up and they also might just have a long uh wait between times that they spawn so gonna have to just sit tight i suppose okay we're gonna get we got a megalania over here i'm gonna kill that i'm sorry what did i just say was over here because if i said it was a megalania i'm an idiot i cannot tell the difference between a megalania and a parasaur people Level 90 Mantis, trash. Okay, gotta kill these snakes. These can be... <sighs> really big, really big problem. I don't know why they label these things as, um... As boas. Titanoboa was a constrictor, but this thing is venomous. So how is it at that point still a constrictor? Ark, what are you doing? You are lying. You are lying to the public. Uh, oh, I thought that was a basilisk uh, tail there for a second. I'm like, oh no. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, not a whole lot going on here. Maybe some more bugs have spawned. All right. I'll bring us back either when we, either when I have decided we just can't find a good one at this point. Oh, I was right. Thought I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right, yeah, I'll bring us back when we've uh, hopefully found a hopefully found an Arthro that's worth the time. Uh, maybe a Mantis. I don't know. See you guys in a sec. All righty. If you will direct your attention down here, there is a 130 uh, male Arthro, and I really love that iridescent green. So we're gonna get it. Uh oh. <sighs> I perhaps get a little too paranoid of mantises over being over here, but uh, still. Yeah, level 50, die. Okay, let's get back over here and tame this up, and then we shall return to base, unless I find a good mantis. I have yet to see a single good mantis in this vicinity. Let's take that, take your blood packs, and the venom. And the rest of it, uh, unimportant. We don't need it. Alright, where did you go? There you are. See, again, the uh, trick with these is to get to their hitbox, which can be a bit of a pain. Oh, f God damn it! Oh, thanks a lot, game. Yep, love it. Love that love it when it lag spikes right as I'm like trying to get the prompt to feed the creature. And it's like, oh no, no, fuck you. Love that. Alright, just gonna 
Uh oh. Okay, hopefully it's not still map. Yes, it is. No, no longer angry with me. Hopefully I can approach it. Gotcha! Simple. And I've got one extra Broth of Enlightenment, which uh, is just as well, because we can go over what it does. Uh, if you didn't know, it's just a giant experience buff. Like, it is... I think it's about the same as an Explorer note. Okay. Still not good stats, but better than what we had on this one. <sighs> Alright, well, I don't need them to be the best. I just need them to be acceptable. Alright, I'm going to take one last look at these mantises over here, and if they're not good, then we're going to bail. And, of course, one of them's good. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, here we go. And, oh, this is exactly the same, same thing. I just got to walk up to this thing, and I've got to feed it uh, without it getting upset at me. Uh, hopefully it does not get mad, because, and these things aggro from far away. Like, you've seen their lunge attack. Like, they, they lunge like a capro. It's, it's insanity. They also can use weapons, which I think is hilarious. I don't know why they need to. They literally are armed with a pair of scythes. Oh, yeah, see what I mean right there? Whoa! A freaking spider, man. What level, are you the one that I seek? No, you're trash. Die. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done so we can get back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sir. You are being very rude, sir. Okay. Let's take this. Okay. Now, hopefully... This works the way it's supposed to. Take these extra blood packs. If this does not work, I'm probably going to get my armor shredded in pretty much one go. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> wow. Nice. I'm not going to tame another one of these today. Oh. Hey, for once on the most useful of the bugs, we actually got some uh, decent stats. Alrighty. And with that, I will fly us home, and I will see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, let's uh, let's throw out our spoders here. I have to be, yeah. Oh, wow, their weight is actually very good. Okay, so I already know what this creature does. Uh, I know I already know how it functions because I played with this mod in my um, unmodded, like not my unmodded, but like my um, when this map was still a mod and not an official part of the server, official part of Ark yet. Uh, I played on it and I played it with the Kraken's Better Dinos mod, so I'm well aware of how this thing functions. As you can see, it's pretty fast. You know, pretty solid creature, actually vastly upgraded from its original self. But uh, you know that thing. That in this game, spiders can't do that they absolutely should be able to do. Uh, well, first, let me press the right button here. Uh, X allows you to wall crawl. You know, that thing that all spiders are very good at doing, even tarantulas. But, uh, you know, uh, for some reason, these can't do that. Even though they're web-building spiders. It, 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 insanity! Insanity, I say! Alright, let's see here. Right-click is the uh, standard web attack that slows things down. Uh, C is a different type of web. Yo, that's a net. That's really useful. So you that, that functions like a net gun. And that means this creature is, by default, going to be very useful. Uh, you can see its damage is abysmal at best. This, uh, it, this, this is not a creature that is meant to... Uh, be damaged to be a damage monster you certainly could mutate one that could do it but even then never gonna be the best it does attack very quickly though that i will say it, it's got quite good at that okay the the like the actual neck gun this does have a cooldown effect i'm gonna the web also does some damage so bear that in mind too. Like all the web, all of its attacks do damage. 
I think some of them even do torpor damage, but... Oh boy, I am stunned. And you're dead. Oh, also it jumps. You know, if you needed another reason to not sleep at night... You know, enjoy the boing boing. <laughs> look, at this. look at this! This is amazing! <laughs> this creature is really... Like, this creature is very fast. So if you wanted something that can get you around the map... These are worth taming, and you can tame them very early because of the fact that it is a passive tame. Uh, I think the saddle unlocks fairly early on, too. But Kraken's Better Dinos makes this creature, much like Megalania, go from being absolutely a waste of your time to being something that you actually might want. Oh, we got a, another copy here. What level are you? A trash. But yeah, I, I really think that this is, you know, I wish I could say it was criminally underrated in vanilla, but it's not. It, it In vanilla, it is, it is terrible. Like, there's, I mean, in the sense that it's not necessarily bad, there's just no advantage to taming it. The only thing it's got going for it is a little bit of torpor in its bite, and, uh, you know, uh, a web attack that slows. This one, this guy, <laughs> it's got a lot going for it. All right, let's break out the next test subject. Oop. Oh, also, they are carrion eaters. They prefer eating spoiled meat over anything else. Uh, so keep that in mind. But yeah, very interesting, very good creature. Uh, I'm going to put you in miscellaneous for now. All right, let's throw out this one. Let's throw out the Arthro. Actually, let's throw out our good Arthro. I mean good in that our, our better Arthro. Oh dear. Okay, we're getting a little... We're running a little late. Alright, that's fine. Uh, on that note, by... Um, let's see as I find the saddle here. Uh, remember that... Um, okay, Kraken's better dinos does not appear to do anything at all to this creature yet. So we're going to have to re remember that. Just gonna throw out half of this. Okay, you are egregiously weighed down. Why? What am I carrying that is so heavy for you? I mean, aside from like everything, but. Uh, weapons and ammo, what the hell? Alright. Uh, I will bring this back once we have uh, put away enough stuff to use this thing. Alrighty, uh, I literally had to strip down in order to properly ride, like, not to ride it fully, but to like be able to move with any kind of speed. Now this creature um, is not does not seem to be affected by Kraken's better dinos, as you can see. There's no uh, KD up at the top there, top right corner of the screen. But um, <clears throat> worth noting that um, I oh, I think this creature is kind of underrated for a couple of reasons. Firstly. While, yes, it does take increased damage from firearms, which means that in PvP it's not that good, um, it does have a couple of key abilities that I think may make up for that at least a little bit. Firstly, uh, it's recoil damage whenever it is hit by a melee attack. Uh, really do help it here. Let's also check out its damage. See, definitely not great damage, but still better than the spiders. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit this guy. And this also has an acid spit. Now that does some good damage. And it also shreds armor, which is very helpful. Also, I love that my hitbox is such that I can get underneath uh, his frill. So this trike, the trike's natural defenses are not helping it. But yeah, uh, the Arthroplora, in my opinion, uh, and most likely in real life, was not a meat eater or if it was it would have eaten it would have scavenged but uh most people believe that the arthroplora was at best uh an omnivore but more than likely an herbivore much like a mo much like modern millipedes of today uh whereas this one definitely has more in common with the centipede that being said uh the even the size is not it's a bit oversized but you know, this is the general idea of what it was of what it was like. Really like the colors on these things. I always have. You 
can see that recoil damage is uh, not out hurting him because his own damage resist is protecting him, but... So, definitely these creatures, they're not great for damage, but, uh, yeah. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, uh, what, what? Where are you going? Excuse me? Where are you going? What the? Come here. What the hell's gotten into you? Hold on. That might be a problem if it's aggroing onto something there. Or not. Okay. I don't know what it was upset about, but... Man, I hope Kraken's Better Dinos does eventually do something with that creature. It's a really cool creature, but, um... You know, it's definitely not without its limitations as it is right now. And also, like every creature that we've talked about today, it is indeed a Carrion Eater. Uh, this... Here, you, like I said, you can equip it with weapons. Uh, like, I could give it this. Here, you can have my hatchet. And now he's dual-wielding uh, hatchets. Uh, probably should have lost a little weight, but that's okay. Now, this is a damaging machine. Oh! A damaging machine and a great wood gatherer. And Kraken's Better Dinos does actually affect this creature. How so? I do not know. Uh, let us check. Hello there, this is TBT from the future. So, uh, I made a couple of goofs here for this episode. Uh, firstly, at the beginning I state that the Archiflora is affected by Kraken's better dinos. It is not, I am sorry. Um, hopefully that will change in the future. I think there's some cool stuff you can do with that. But, uh, I also kind of forgot to finish the episode... Uh, after I said I would go check out what uh, uh, Kraken's Better Dinos actually does to the Mantis, because it does do something to the Mantis. Seriously, I don't know why you need weapons in this thing's hands. It's it's wielding a pair of, like, crazy-ass scythes, and if you know how the Frank Mantis hunts in real life, like, you don't, it don't need weapons. Like, those scythes double as scissors and, and shears. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, before night falls here, let me finish. Let me uh, finish what I set out to do. So the first thing to note with the mantis is that it gains a 50% weight reduction in all uh, materials that it carries, uh, which is very helpful. The second thing is that now exceptional kibble can be used in addition to deathworm, deathworm horns, and spacebar gives it a regular jump attack in addition to the lunge one, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, if you ever needed, uh, yeah, here, let me demonstrate by getting out of K-Mode real quick. Yeah, that's the space bar lunge, and this is the, uh, or the space bar jump. And this is the, uh, pounce. Oh, our, we're gonna just smack Cammy in the side of the face, and she is not gonna care because she's Cammy and a badass. Um... But, yeah, uh, I, my apologies. I basically, like... I think what happened was I actually, because I see, definitely remember filming this stuff. What actually ended up happening was, uh, oops, there we go. I don't want to do that. that that's a surprise for later. Um, uh, I remember filming this, and what ended up happening was, um, I think I paused the recording to check what Steam does to the Mantis, and then forgot to unpause it. So it just ended the episode when I stopped, when I hit stop. Um, so that, that is hilariously unfortunate, so I basically was sitting there for about, I don't know, five, six minutes, looking real stupid talking to myself. Anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did, if you, if you liked it, go ahead and do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment for more, and I will see you guys on the next one, this has been TVT, signing out.